An Arkansas community fighting to keep their two schools from closing. As WRG's Mike Suriani reports, the Marvel Elaine school system has fewer than 350 students and faces other challenges that could lead to them shutting their doors. I have faith, but I don't think we have a chance of saving our school district because it was brought to the community such a, you know, late time. Danielle Wright is a concerned parent living in the small Phillips County town of Marvel, watching as the town's high school and elementary school face closing in the new year and questions what school district students may ultimately end up in. As of now, our options are Barton, Helena, West Helena, uh, DeWitt, Brinkley, Clarendon, and Lee County, which are in uh, other counties. And, you know, that's going to hurt. The Marvel Elaine School District has been on level five intensive support placed there by the Arkansas Department of Education for low attendance, poor test scores, and a lack of certified teachers. On December 8th, the state board voted to deny Marvel Elaine's request for a waiver to operate with fewer than 350 students, saying, the district can no longer provide an adequate and equitable education for its students. Daniel Wright has organized several demonstrations opposing the state's action. She's also voicing her outrage with the district superintendent for letting things get to the point of annexation. Us as parents and community, we want answers of why she wasn't communicating with us in a timely manner to get us to cry out to the state board. It's a frustration felt by this student who says he'll miss his elementary school seeing my friends and I can't do that if the school closes down because I don't know what school they're going to go to. In Phillips County, Arkansas, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Superintendent Dr. Katina Ray declined an on-camera interview but issued us this statement saying, we certainly understand the strong emotions of our parents and community members. At this point in time, we are upholding the decisions that were made by the Arkansas State Board of Education.